Thank you. Should I be talking yes. into this? <laughs> oh, that's good enough. That's, oh, is that good for you? So I can talk. Okay, of course, absolutely. Yeah. So for uh, for my fans, uh, a bit about the show and your character. Yeah, she's um, it, it's a different show. It's a show that's paid, you know, homage to both Vampire Diaries and the original, Diaries, but is its own entity. And Hope has changed quite a lot from the originals. And from 15 to 17, a lot has happened. So she definitely takes kind of a new role um, than, than she ever has before. A new role, as in. She's really coming to her powers and understanding them, or yeah, I, I think that's that's part of it. Um, I, I don't know if Hope will ever feel fully comfortable in who she is because there's so much going on, and, and um, her nature is always telling her to do evil and to do wrong. So she's constantly fighting those inner demons that are telling her to be evil and just to succumb. But um, the show is really all about choosing to be good in the face of evil, and how these young beings they they are kind of born to be monsters. And um, it, it explores how they can be, you know, do good in the world. Who's <laughs> yeah. um, helping her most on this journey? Um, I don't think Hope has a whole lot of people who really understand. And even in her family, um, I think she has always kind of felt like a little bit of an outcast because no one understands what it feels like to, you know, to be this tribrid. Um, so I think she deals with a lot on her own and tries to take responsibility and, and deal with everything on her own. And, and since certain things have happened in the season of the originals and since then, she I think she kind of pushes people away and um, due to you know, dramas and things that have happened. So I think she handles a lot on her own. She not only has these supernatural powers, she's also a growing growing into a woman. So she's dealing with that too. Right. So how are you right. portraying that? Yeah, I mean, um, I think season five kind of shocked a lot of the fans of Hope because like she was always this sweet girl who you know draw in her bedroom and that's who she was. But when season five came and she was a fifteen year old girl, not only battling like being hormonal and you know becoming like, a young woman for the first time. And, um, but she's also battling uh, this, this immense power that's inside of her. So I did really enjoy playing um, kind of the messier side of her because teenagers are not perfect at all and um, they are messy and use a lot of self-discovery and you make a lot of mistakes. So I, I really enjoy playing that part of her. Yeah, and I think that does continue into legacies a little bit too. Um, but you know, the show does have a younger vibe to it and a high school um, a high school town. Who are the course the students that she's going to meet there? Yeah, so you have Lizzie and Josie Saltzman, um, large kids. You have, um, I can talk about this now because we just did the panel and so everyone was released. Um, we have a character named Elaine Kirby, who um, she will be meeting. Um, a character named Raphael, a character named MG, um, who's like that. And um, yeah, and of course, just people along the way, I think. So I think that's all I can say about it. <laughs> Is there anything about her at this point in your life that you really enjoy portraying? I think that's done. She's not there, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, are there things about her that I enjoy portraying? Lisa? Like, is there something in particular that you really like to delve into and enjoy about her? Yes, I I really love the fact that the show is the legacies does have a very strong family and. Um, for me, playing Hope, I mean, I don't really relate to her in a lot of ways because I'm not supernatural. <laughs> but um, I am a girl who um, was much more mature for her age and had a strong will and um, was a little sincere and wittier. So I, I really kind of fell into her shoes in that sense that I really love to play and we're definitely going to explore some more of that in my life. A new best friend because one of her, she said quite a few people die and she's got some more sister. Yes. Do you need to talk into this when I talk to you? Okay. I, sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. 
know. I, I I think that there because there are a lot of people who have died and who have you know really left an impact on her. You know, with their death. I think that she wants to push people away because she's afraid of, of love and afraid of getting close to anyone because she thinks that anytime she does, she just will she, it'll blow up in her face. And I think she blames herself a lot for certain things that have happened. So um, I don't know. I don't know if anytime soon she'll she'll have a friend. I really want her to have a friend though. I really do. I'm rooting for it. With the fact that she's this hybrid of all these things, are you doing a lot of action scenes at all in all the channels, or is it more? Um, in the originals or in Legacy? Oh, I'm sorry, Legacy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I know. There's so many shows. <laughs> I know. Um, well, we actually, we did, um, uh, Matt and I, we did a fight sequence the other day, and, um, which, was, which was a lot of fun. And so it's not just hope, like casting skills and blowing things up, which is kind of actually, maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, you definitely see a little more of like her werewolf nature begin to come out because um, she turns in episode 12. And so, um, yeah, you, you definitely see some of that in like scenes, which has been so much fun. You enjoy doing that, the physical part? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Does she hope for a normal life? Also? I, of course, think so. I think that that's where she gets a lot of uh, her Aunt Rebecca in that sense. Um, I, when in in the originals, for sure, I, I think she um, really battled with who she was and um, not being able to have her family around, and, and she blamed herself for a lot of it. So I'm sure there were many times where she wished she was just a normal 15 year old girl. But um, in Legacies, you kind of start to see her take her own power back and um, explore all of who she is, um, which I think is going to be really good. It's going to be really good, especially um, especially playing her. It'll be even going to change. Will she be interacting with um, any of the microphones? I hope so. <laughs> That's up to Julie <laughs> and anyone who wants to come back. But um, I, I, I really do hope so. I, I don't want her Michelson to ever be. So, um, and I don't think they will. I think that who Hope is is very Michaelson and also Marshall from her mother. So that will never be lost, no matter if there are characters who come back or don't. Yeah. What will her support system look like in this week? Because she's always like we've always seen her with her family, her mother, her like aunt, and everything like that. How is her support system going to be coming into Legacies? How is it going to be different? Yeah, I'm. In the originals, Hope was always known as being the baby and being protected by her family. But once she got old enough to a point where they couldn't protect her anymore, I think she said, "I have to protect myself." And so when we pick up in Legacies, um, as I mentioned, I, she does push people away and she does have a tendency to not be close to people because she's afraid. So I think she's kind of her own support system which can be really sad and, and really heartbreaking for her. And you see a little bit of that, and, and you definitely empathize with her um, and when we pick up in Legacies. But hopefully, we'll make that transition where she can have a couple friends. I'm really rooting for Hope to have friends, guys. <laughs> really. <laughs> is most of the action and stuff going on just in the school, or is there an expanded universe that we'll see you getting out into? Um, I think that Legacies, in the beginning at least, uh, will focus a lot on the school, but, but there is definitely things that are out of the school that, that we will be in touch with, for sure, like supernatural things we've never even seen before, and which is why I say it's, it's a show of its own kind, because we've never explored what's outside of the Vampire Diaries world, basically. So it, it definitely explores that a lot. Last question. How much do you know about what she's actually going to develop into at this point? Which powers are going to emerge the most or whatever? I know about three episodes in. <laughs> um, I, I know that she will definitely be fighting some of her own demons and the outer demons and um, trying to connect with people and, and also kind of coming into her own and I, and I hope to see her at her full vibrant yeah. power. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.